how to install Ansible in Rocky Linux version 9? Today we are going to talk about the easier way to install and maintain up-to-date Ansible inside Rocky Linux 9 using the Upstream system repository. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about how to install Ansible in Rocky Linux 9. The easier way to install and maintain up-to-date Ansible inside Rocky Linux version 9 is using the Ansible-Core package included in the Upstream distribution repository. Please notice that the package Ansible isn't available anymore. It's not necessary to use the additional EPL package repository. Demo time. Let's jump into a quick live demo of how to install the latest version of Ansible in Rocky Linux. I'm going to install the Ansible-Core package in Rocky Linux 9 using the upstream distribution repository. Are you excited? Let's move it on. Welcome on my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my Rocky Linux machine via SSH. I'm going to use uh, DevOps as username at uh, rockylinux.example.com. This is a demo machine that I just installed. So let's take a look together, do some uh, configuration of this machine. First of all, let me switch to root with sudo su and let's cut slash etc slash red hat release. This is a Rocky Linux release 9.0 Blue Onyx release. Let's also cut slash etc slash OS dash release for more information about this operating system. This is a Red Hat compliant system as you can see and uh, more information we can have also with hostname control as well with uname dash a for the full kernel version. This is version 5.14.0 etc. Now let's uh, take a look together of the option for uh, Ansible with a DNF search Ansible. There are plenty of options but uh, we are interested in the Ansible dash core package. So let's get more information with DNF info Ansible dash core. We see that it is available as well also with DNF list uh, Ansible dash core say that is available so not installed yet uh, in the upstream uh, repository. Now let's move forward with DNF install Ansible dash core. We are going to download 16 megabytes of uh, 19 packages and 77 megabytes of storage will be used after this. This is Ansible dash core so only the Ansible platform is going to be installed and in a blink of an eye we have version 2.12.2 completely installed in our system. The DNF is taking care of all the steps for downloading and installing the system. So we can uh, double check using the ansible command line command and specifically we can use ansible dash dash version to have uh, more information about the running version of ansible. As we can see we have uh, more information about the modules, the python version 3.9 as well also the Jinja version 2.11.3. So this is enough from the Ansible point of view but let's take a look uh, on the distribution point of view. DNF list uh, this time reported installed packages Ansible core 2.12 from the upstream repository as well also DNF info Ansible dash core. Ok, now we are ready to execute our Ansible automation and create uh, a lot of Ansible playbook code. Uh, we, have a we put the foundation of uh, what is required for executing the Ansible code. Uh, you can simply update uh, this uh, package with a DNF update as usual and 
because uh, this is a system repository, it gets uh, automatically all the necessary updates. Yay! Great work! We can move forward! Now you know how to install the latest version of Ansible in Rocky Linux using the Upstream system repository. Thank you for watching. If this lesson was useful for you, I look forward to see you in the upcoming lesson and have a great day. Yay! Cheers! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.